Hello again. In my last video, and if you haven't watched it, go and find it on the playlist here on YouTube, uh, I was talking about generating content. And I was suggesting that you should keep a note in advance of any presentation and just capture ideas, thoughts, inspiration, whatever it is about that presentation. But there's a, there are other ways that you can also start to generate content. Uh, a great way to do it is actually just to have a good old fashioned brain dump. Have a blank piece of paper on your screen or on the desk in front of you. And actually, I tend to use pen and paper for this. And just write down everything you can think about about this topic. Ideas, thoughts, cliches, um, stories, anecdotes, data, research, testimonials, all these sort of things. Just get it all down on paper. Then leave it. Go away. Have some lunch. Leave it overnight. And then come back and try and add some more. And actually just getting it all out of your head onto a piece of paper can be a really good start. Not everything on that piece of paper is likely to end up in the presentation, but actually it gives you a good starting point. You can go through and go, oh, actually, yes, there is that story. Oh, in fact, that story reminds me of that story. So then I can actually go and add something different. So really uh, just get everything down on the piece of paper, leave it, come back to it. And actually you might want to do that two or three times. Then you can start editing, you can start putting stuff in order, you can sort of start slotting it into where it might go. But it's just a great way just to get those ideas down out of your head. Don't try and plan your presentation mentally, get something down on paper, and then you can start editing and playing with it from there. Another way to generate uh, content is to write down what you think are the frequently asked questions, the FAQs that the audience are likely to have on this topic. If it were just a Q&A rather than your presentation, what questions would they ask? Write down five, seven, maybe 10 questions, and then your presentation answers them. You could even use those questions as a structure, and we'll talk about structure in a future video, but you can use those, say, here are the 10 things you need to know about this topic, number one, and off you go. It's actually a really fun, easy to remember uh, structure that audiences really love because it's easy for them to follow along. As I say, we'll cover that in a future video. But just ask, putting down your questions, and then thinking about how you would answer those questions, again, will help you to generate content. And it gets you past that blank page syndrome, which is a horrible place to be. Once you've got content down on paper, then you can start editing, you can start ordering and all those things. That will really help move you forward. Hope that was useful. Uh, if you've come to this video via my YouTube channel, um, then please, while you're here, look in the description below and you will find the uh, link to my newsletter so you get a fortnightly top tip from me and a roundup of content from around the web. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I uh, upload new content. If you came to this via my newsletter, uh, then please do subscribe while you're here on YouTube so that you don't miss anything I put out. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time.